Hello everyone. Welcome back to Sally Tutorials. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a complete workflow inside Luma AI, starting from the board section and ending with fully animated videos generated using the Ray 3 model. If you want to understand how AI can create high quality images in cinematic motion, this tutorial will guide you step by step. So let's jump straight into the process. To begin, you can click the start a board button or open the boards tab on the left side. Here, I'm selecting the Create and Modify Image option to generate a few images. In this area, you can write a prompt that describes the type of images you want to create. This prompt acts as the foundation of your final result, and tells the AI what style, mood or details to follow. You can also import a reference image for consistency. Now open the Settings panel at the bottom right. Here, you'll find the Describe settings, the Reference Image settings, and the Modify settings. First, I'll open the Image Describe settings. Click the Images button, then choose the Aspect Ratio for your image. I'm selecting a 16 by 9 widescreen layout. I'm setting the resolution to 1080p, and I'm choosing the Photon model for the best overall clarity. These settings help generate detailed, visually clean images that work well for animation later. Next, go to the Reference section. Import your reference image. And press Enter. Your images will begin generating. This ensures the results follow both your written prompt and your reference source. After that you can preview the images and see that they match what we described. Once you're satisfied, you can download and save them to your computer. Now let's modify these images. This step is useful when you want to refine expressions, adjust lighting, or create variations of the same character. Click on the Modify option and import the images from your computer. Type A prompt describing the changes you want. Then open the Modify settings again from the bottom right. Click the Images button, set the resolution to 720p, and choose the Modify V2 model. This model is designed for cleaner and more natural edits. Hit Enter, and within a few seconds your modified images will be ready. Once your images are prepared, let's move on to the Ray 3 model and generate some videos. This is where your static images transform into dynamic cinematic sequences. We'll use the same images we just created. First, I'll write my video prompt. Then I'll click the icon below to add camera angle tags, style tags, and lighting tags. These tags help the AI understand the visual direction of your animation. After adding the tags, open the settings panel at the bottom right. Under Describe, select the Videos option. Now choose the Aspect Ratio, which for this example is 16 by 9. Select the resolution, and I'm using 1080p. Choose the number of videos, choose the duration, and finally, select your dynamic range option. Here I'm choosing HDR plus XR. Next, click the keyframe button and import two pictures, one for the start frame and one for the end frame. This allows Ray 3 to animate smoothly between both images and create natural movement or expression transitions. When everything is ready, press enter, and your video will be generated within a few moments. After the video is created, you'll see several options below, such as Modify, Extend, more like this, and the ability to download HDR or EXR versions. If you want to refine the video even further, click on Modify. Here you can select a Start Frame and a Modify Frame. Then type your new prompt. Open the settings again, go to the Modify section, and choose the Videos option. Select the resolution and I'm keeping it at 1080p. Choose your model, I'm using the Ray 2 Flash model. Then set the number of videos, choose the duration, and select the dynamic range. I'm choosing SDR for this version. 
These settings allow you to generate refined variations quickly while preserving strong visual quality. Now adjust the strength setting. And if you want, you can add extra video tags such as shot type, camera angle, lighting, or style. Press enter and your modified video will be generated shortly. Now we have two different videos created with this tool. And I'm adding both of them to my favorites. If you want to extend a video, click on the extend option. For this, you'll need an image or a video to use as the end frame. I've selected an image here. Write your continuation prompt. Then add any video tags you want such as motion tags, angle tags, format tags, effects, or transitions. After that, choose your settings. I'm selecting the Ray 3 model. For the dynamic range I'm selecting SDR. Choosing two videos, setting the resolution to 1000 and 80p, and setting the duration to 5 seconds. Once everything is set, press enter. The tool will generate extended videos that continue smoothly from your last frame. You can see how clean, smooth and cinematic these videos look. With just a few clicks, Luma AI lets you create high-quality animated content that feels professional and polished. That wraps up the full workflow inside Luma AI, from image generation to animation with the Ray 3 model. Ray 3 brings your ideas to life with beautiful motion, lighting, and realistic scene transitions. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe and comment on what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.